Hey guys, today I am tackling our disaster of a pantry and I am here to take you guys along on the process from disaster to hopefully beautiful and organized. Hey guys, Sarah here from Work Life Glue. If you've been following along, you know that we're going through a transition. But if you're not following along and you're new to our channel, hi, my name is Sarah. I am the mother of two little girls with our third on the way at the end of August. My husband is a chef and now a cookie business owner. I am a former childcare provider in our home turned child care provider just one child and online business owner so we're going through a big transition right now of my husband starting his cookie business me no longer taking care of eight to ten children at a time the most i'll ever have at one time is four once our baby comes and the little boy i care for is here with my other two daughters so we don't need a pantry full of food but we also have all this cookie stuff now that we need to fit in our pantry so today my goal is to take this really disaster of a pantry and take everything out clean it assess what i need to actually keep in there reorganize it with a couple new tools and products that i have purchased very inexpensively that i think will really help take our pantry to the next level and hopefully have some inspiration and maybe some funny blunders along the way, I don't know. You never know what's gonna happen in these videos. So I'm gonna get started by just emptying out this pantry. So just for reference, this pantry is in our dining room, which is right next to our kitchen. Don't mind all the boxes of baby stuff that is over there. But we turned basically our entry closet, it's a very big entry closet. We didn't need an entry closet because nobody enters through this door except guests once in a while, so they can just hang their stuff right there. But we enter through the back. So this is the main pantry it locked because hashtag two year olds. So this is the pantry. It is overloaded with stuff. Way too much stuff in here. A lot of stuff that we aren't using, won't use. Um, and a lot of stuff that probably doesn't need to be kept in here or could be done better. I no longer love this system. I might keep one of these, but I have a better solution for this. I have a better solution for cans. I've tried a few different things over the years, but basically because of my husband's cookie business, we have just like all these cookie ingredients overflowing everything and it's just a hot mess. So I'm gonna start just by taking everything out and organizing and keeping things that we need to keep and figuring out if we can donate or what have you with the rest of the stuff. Like I said, you never know what's gonna happen in these videos. But basically because we don't have a system my husband just buys, oh no, flour buys his ingredients and shoves it in there, which I don't blame him because we don't have a good system, but ugh. So basically what I'm saying is it's time to tackle this chaos. Okay, so I emptied out four shelves. Oh my goodness. Down here is a disaster because I have stuff that needs to get shredded. That's gonna get moved down to my office. It does not need to be in this pantry. That is a bin of all the stuff we bought for the quarantine that we ended up not needing, but I wanna keep it in backup just in case. But I think it's gonna go down into the basement. And then we don't actually drink this pop, so it should go down in the basement as well. And then up here is mainly like alcohol, a couple cleaning things and like cutlery stuff like that so <sighs> okay guys I feel sick I know I felt this way cleaning out this pantry before what I've realized is we'll go to make something and we'll go to buy the ingredients for it but it doesn't use up all the ingredients and then we don't want that ingredient used the next week or whatever so it just is left in there and it's empty that is why I've recently started doing a meal service dinner, like where they send it to you. I've been trying a few different ones out, like 
Blue Apron, um, HelloFresh, Dinnerly, Home Chef. I'm trying them, that's not sponsored at all. And I may do a whole video on that once I find one I really like, but it's just, it's so hard. With daycare, I always try to do different kinds of meals and then we'd have different suppers and different breakfasts. And so we'd have all these different things, but at least stuff was getting used up. But now that it's just our family of four and occasionally another child, it's just way too much. And now with his baking business, I think he's forgetting what he has. And so he buys more flour, more flour, more sugar, which is fine because he'll use it eventually, but it's just too much. So, oh, I feel sick, you guys, just looking at this. Um, so yeah, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here. But first I'm gonna clean all of the shelves and sweep out the floor. two things on Amazon I will link below one is this over the door like what do they call it adjustable wall and door rack so basically instead of these things I want at least this to go on and maybe still use one because this is a really wide door because I think it's so much easier to see stuff when it's all in a line than in these pockets that you're kind of hard to see and so I want to use this for like replacement items in the fridge, snacks, stuff like that that we can easily access, most likely, um, but we'll see. And then this, um, I haven't put together yet either, is a drawer, I think it's a can organizer of some sort, I don't remember which one I went with, so hopefully that will help organize the cans better too. So I'm gonna for sure take down the dirty for one of these and then put those two things in here so I can kind of see how much space they take up and if I can still keep one of these on here. I got them in. This one makes me really happy. This one I'm really mad at myself for not measuring because it's a little too tall to fit in any of these. But um, we'll see what I actually need it for. If it's just for like overflow cans, they can go in there and be just fine. Okay, I think I'm gonna tackle the baking stuff first. We bought these airtight containers from Ikea when we were up there a few weeks ago. The really big one will be for flour and then sugar and I think brown sugar. So I'm going to fill these up and um, put them on a shelf and see how it fits. That fit amazingly. Now what I think I'm going to do to make it easier for him and for me is all of his like mix-ins. He's got lots of different mix-ins he uses for different cookies. I'm going to try to fit them lined up in like a couple rows here so he can see what he has at a glance so it's really easy for him to know what he needs to buy for his next round of cookies. Wow you guys, um, when I actually went through and saw how much baking stuff he had, it filled up this entire thing plus the shelf. So now he can easily see what mix-ins he has for different cookies got marshmallows and like all our baking stuff. I think it's so much easier to just be able to go in and grab it this way. And then over here we have the bins of flours and sugars. And this is just some bigger mix-ins, Oreos, bigger marshmallows, Reese's, graham cracker crumbs. Sometimes he mixes in some cereal. And this is like sprinkles and food coloring, pancake and waffle mix, some muffin stuff, and a cookie, like cupcake decorating kit. So I'm a little bummed I don't have any extra space on here, but I still have so much space on here. So I think what I'm gonna use this for is mostly snacks and like um, maybe sauces so that I can clearly see them and maybe like jelly and peanut butter and stuff that we access a lot or stuff that like we need to replace in the fridge or maybe I'll have like a whole bin for that. I don't know yet. So going through all our like disposable entertaining stuff like cutlery, plates, napkins, that kind of stuff. I really love this I got from Target. It's this fork, spoons, and knives just for like a casual get together. I love that it's divided. It's all in one. So I think all the extra ones I'm just going to sort out because I was using like these in the past. I'm going to sort out into the boxes and then those will be the backup. Okay guys, this project only took me about an hour and a half. A lot of sweat because I'm pregnant and this stuff makes me sweat so bad. But I'm going to take you through from top to bottom, door to 
actual pantry closet and show you everything but i am amazed how much i can fit in here now in an organized way that's easy to find stuff without like just tons of stuff overflowing and i really didn't get rid of a lot because now we can actually use up what we have because we know what we have and it is amazing so starting over here like i said these are all like mix in candies and things for my husband's cookie business and then we have just like some other like Baking stuff, dry milk, malted milk, gelatin, salt, baking soda, baking soda, baking powder, cocoa powder, you name it. See how we have three cocoa powders? Because we didn't know how much we had. Um, and then like oils and cornstarch and stuff. Some of which we use for like crafts and stuff, but some of which we use for baking. Over here is mostly snacks and like overflow fridge items. So we've got like Teddy Grahams, Nutrigain bars, popcorn, applesauce more granola bars, um, peanut butter, which we have a lot of, um, because San uses it for baking as well. We've got two jellies. See, we didn't know we had one and we have one in the fridge too. Tuna, pasta sauce, barbecue sauce, ranch, some hot sauce and some lemon juice. So that's like stuff we would access a lot or look for here because it's like, oh, we're out of ranch in the fridge, so we would just grab it from here. Over here is just mainly like dry goods and other things. So at the top, I have all a bin of all of our cutlery overflow. Our cutlery sorter is right there, and then in this one I have plates and napkins, and that one also has cups in it, and then we have a spiralizer and a food saver way up there. Alcohol, cleaning items, a few vases, just three, in case we bring home flowers, I can easily get to them. I thought I was going to have to put those in the basement, but I like having them in here, so I could just quick grab them. This is cereal and Teddy Grahams, most of which are for my husband's cookies, but if we ever want cereal, we can get them. And then this whole shelf is all baking. He has some baking soda in here. And then his sugars and his flour, another thing of cereal that he might use. This is all marshmallows and Oreos and Reese's and graham cracker crumbs. And then this is all mainly like a baking mix and like toppings and like stuff to make it look pretty basically. Here is our kid's main snack bin for stuff that wouldn't fit over here so like goldfish crackers animal crackers and pretzels and then this one is overflow snacks and then like more grown-up snacks i guess so more graham crackers saltines overflow granola bars for when this runs out i can just restock them and then chips mainly left over we don't eat a whole lot of chips it's mainly left over from like fourth of july and stuff but now we know where they are instead of floating among everything here's most of our pasta and then here's rice and breadcrumbs. Down here we have treats. So I found this like cookie butter. We probably bought on impulse some Girl Scout cookies I forgot we had and hot chocolate. Here's miscellaneous. So this is basically anything that wouldn't fit anywhere else. We've got crushed red pepper flakes, apple cider vinegar, some cooking wine, chia seeds, flax seeds, PB2 or Fit PB or whatever. A lot of these are for my smoothies. Old fashioned or quick oats, some cornbread mix, and pepperoni. This is all breakfast items, which this I just added because this a lot of this stuff didn't make sense anywhere else. We've got like some pop tarts, granola, these muffins I bought on a whim, our Kodiak cake mix, and then I like to use these muffin mixes for pancakes. So that's a perfect spot for all that. And then we've got produce, and then I just throw tor tortillas in there because I didn't really know where else to put those. On the second to last shelf, my husband's protein powder. We have this huge thing of plastic wrap because we go through it a lot, especially with my husband's cooking business, and it won't fit in our cabinets. This um, I got because it's easy to carry to the kitchen. It's nice and sturdy. This is all of our like lunch making stuff for when school starts. It's got our bent go box kids boxes, a couple extra ones, some like just fun stuff, a thermos, 
and then I picked up these little silverware containers for them so when I'm making their lunches I can just bring this into the kitchen I would my goal is to get that in the kitchen but I haven't decluttered the kitchen yet so for now it's gonna go there and then we have our paper plates and napkins that we use for like everyday use um, not like the ones for entertaining and then at the bottom I didn't want anything that we like you know could get gross from our broom and stuff because that does have to fit in here so I actually do like that the canned stuff is in here because obviously like dirt can't get into that um, and that kind of thing so and we don't eat a whole lot of canned stuff like all these beans were for the quarantine and um, for entertaining that we ended up not using but just like your random assortment of canned items I really like this I will link it below in our overflow bin that I had for the quarantine, I ended up going through it and realizing we don't need to keep that in the basement. I'm just going to keep the stuff in here. So this was all the extra pasta. There are four boxes of pasta. So I'm just keeping the extra here instead of up there because it won't all fit. But I'll know to look down here. We had a whole bunch of things of tuna and then my husband had some like sardines I don't really know what his plan was with that so I'm just gonna keep that there for now and then a big bag of white rice and then we had been getting the school lunches that they would pack for people for a while but we ended up not using so much of the stuff that we stopped after like two weeks but they would give these these individually wrapped cereal things and my husband likes to mix cereal in with some of his cookies so I thought I'd keep these and if not, it's like a special breakfast on the weekends for the girls or a snack. So I'm just keeping that down here because they're all nice and sealed as well. So that is everything. It truly is amazing how much can fit in. I mean, it's a good size closet, but it's definitely not a walk-in pantry. So hopefully this gave you guys some ideas for a family that has a lot, a lot, a lot of food. Um, most people probably don't have this much food, but like I said, we're going through a transition. So now we can eat up a lot of this stuff. Plus like we never had all this baking stuff before my husband started his business. So this should work out really well and I think he'll be really excited to see it. These are the only things I'm donating. Some um, food containers we didn't like and a vase. These are all the boxes that I need to recycle. And then here's some of the food I'm throwing away that was like expired or went stale, but really didn't get rid of very much. So I'm really happy about that. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I'm organizing our pantry now in this new phase of life. And I hope it gave you some inspiration, motivation, and ideas for your own pantry or cabinets that you have at home and how you might be able to organize them very cheaply. I will link to the two things I purchased as well as I'll link one of these below. And then all the bins I used were from the Dollar Tree. So head over there if you want to find some of those bins. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe. If you like organizing cheaply, that's not necessarily Pinterest worthy because who really lives like that? I know I don't. And I love to just keep things real on our channel and show how a busy mom balances work life and everything in between. And we'd love to have you as part of our glue stick family. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.